Boards games, boards games, it's what I'm talking about. Boards games, boards games, I'm not gonna shout. Boards games, boards games, I am playing on Steam. Boards games, boards games, potion explosion on Steam. I am going to match two colors and maybe discover powers as these balls all start to collide. The explosions go and then there's some fire. <laughs> games, 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 games. It's what I'm going to play. Games, 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 games to enjoy the day. Hello and good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever it is, wherever you are. It is Playful Shenanigans because it is every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 4pm UK time. Although I should specify that in two weeks, once I reach episode 400, I'm going to, this is going to start happening a wee bit less. Today, I am playing Potion Explosion on Steam. That is what I am doing. I am actually just right now getting the thingamajiggy ready um, to share. And so I, I got this team up quite a while ago i want to say like half a year ago um yeah i'm not generally a fan of oh and i just see that lifele j just followed thank you very much lifele j so yes um anyway so i got i'm not generally a fan of digital adaptations of board games i would generally prefer to play board games on the table I'm not one for actually spending money on a digital app, but, you know, Ross from More Games Play said, hey, there's all these digital apps, everyone can play them together, and, yeah, if you want to get some stuff, then you can get it now, so that's what's happened. I got this, and I got um, a couple of other things, I can't even remember what the other games were, to be honest. I think... It, Oh, you know what? It might. I think this might have been the only one of the games that I didn't actually know how to play. And I see that as an interesting thing of board game arena and Steam adaptations, kind of learning how to play, because for me, the board game is still the real version. But anyway, let me show you what's going on here. Hopefully that's not too loud. And let me talk to you and talk about, yeah, how I'm finding it. Um, hmm. Sorry, my browser just disappeared. Ah, it's off to the side. I do apologize. Um, so, yeah. Firstly, you've got to play online. You've got to have some sort of Asmodee login and then you can play with other people. Alternatively, you can play and then there is a tutorial. Um, if you go back more tutorial and you can learn about the tutorial that way. I've done the tutorial, I can barely remember it. So I guess I'm going to add someone. Let's see, mid, so I get this is the first time that I've ever done a proper game, I think. So I've got um, Primitivus Adversius, Averageus Opponentibus, <laughs> and Skildius Revillus. Maybe I'll just stick it on... Whoops. I'll leave it on two players. And, oh, I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bez. I love board games. I'm best known for Yogi, which is a game of contortions i hope to be making games in a long time for a long time to come and 
Hello, Misty Mountains girl. It is lovely to have you join me. Thank you very much for joining. I am not... I am just starting to scratch the surface of this Steam adaptation of Potion Explosion. So yes, thank you again for joining me during this thing. Um, let's play. As always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, then feel free to share. Like, what's been good happening with you? I've had a wee walk around the park. It's been wa wonderful today. It's been sunny. I mean, not that everything in life is wonderful. There is some sh rubbish stuff going on. But I've got my water. I've got had the sun. I saw three squirrels while I was at the park. I saw some pretty flowers. So, yeah. When was the last time you got outside? I hope you are generally well. So, I am going to try and remember the rules to this game. Okay, let's see. Huh. Okay, I, it's part of my wishes that I had done the tutorial again. I think it's... Do, 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 do. Ah, yes. I am trying to get things to collapse, and then these are what I've got here, and I'm trying to get two and two. Do I have any? Oh. And how do I pass the turn? Okay. Right, so I'm trying to, I need to get two more moons and one star. Do, do, do. There we go. Got both of them. Boom. In your face, you AI. And suddenly I've got the potion of wisdom. Take one ingredient of your choice from the dispenser. No explosions are triggered. Hmm? Okay. So that's a nice little thing to get one extra wee bit. Or to take two adjacent ingredients of different colours from the same track of the dispenser. So that's almost like it's twice as good. Or am I missing something? I mean... Yeah, that is strictly better, I guess. Unless there... Yeah, I guess it is always strictly better. Um, hmm. So, yep, now I get to choose a couple of things. What am I going to go for? What kind of potions do I want? So this game is all about matching these colours, getting these ingredients, getting these points. For example, two fire and two water gives me four points, but it also gives me this special ability. Take one ingredient of each colour from the bottom row of the dispenser slide tracks. Each white replaces a colour if taken. You can only take one ingredient from each slide track. Uh, okay. Ooh, Elixir of Blind Love. That's a mean one. If they've got anything in their pool that they've not used, you get to take it all. Activate again the effects of one potion you've already used. That's a nice one. Um, okay, so do I want to have six gives me six points, or five gives me four, five gives me five, um, six gives me seven. Oh, that seems pretty good. Or four gives me four. But remember, going for smaller potions does mean that you potentially get more things. And, oh my gosh! Um, firstly, that makes a lot of sense, Meat Grande. thank you for being here. And secondly, oh my gosh, Just Joanne, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Just Joanne, for the raid. I want you to know it's appreciated. Maybe it's morning or bedtime. Either way, it's a meeting of minds. Or maybe again, maybe it's lunchtime for you. Because I know that USA is where you do. 
live. This game's called Potion Explosion, and I'll explain it as I go on for this situation. <laughs> Sorry about the terrible song, but Joanne, thank you very much for joining. Um, Joanne and the Emerald Gang. It's just Joanne and the Emerald Gang. The gang is in the house. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for joining, and I am playing Potion Explosion on Steam, as you can see at the bottom. It's a color matching game based on a board game, the original board game being designed by Stefano Castelli, Andrea Crespi, and Lorenzo Silva. And the art is by Julia Gigini. And I do apologize to these people if I'm totally mispronouncing their name. And, oh, wow, Joanne's brother is there. Cool. Um... So I am, because the game is just starting, I am going to go for some cheaper things. I am going to go for the five that gives me five. That, hmm. Yeah, I'll go for the Elixir of Blind Love and the Sands of Time. Because, although, Abyssal Draft, that does seem pretty gosh darn good. Take one ingredient each white replaces the color if taken. So um you're ideally you want that seems like a potion that you need to play at the right time for it to have any real effect. So that particular po potion you can take up to one of each color, but only from the bottom. And so yes, right now I could only take three. The maximum, of course, being four. That seems pretty powerful. That seems pretty powerful. And thank you, Meeple Grande. I'm glad that you enjoyed my Wii Raid song. Every time I get raided, I try to attempt a new Wii song. Okay, what have I got to do? Oh, here, I could get that... I could get four blue and a star straight away, or... Do I want more stars or more blue, I think? Or I could... So this is a very puzzly game. So I'll take that star, and then the blues come down, and then they collapse, and I get them as well. So each time you remove something, if like-coloured things are smacking against each other, then you're like, "Whoa, well, hey! And that's basically the game. Then you're trying to fill up your potions, and ooh, maybe I should have actually taken the... I probably should have taken the star because I was only one away. That was a bad choice by me. I feel regret. Yes, I am in the garden today. And um, this morning it was just so sunny. I just, I know that Fridays are my scheduled garden mornings, but it was just so sunny that I had to come into the garden. Okay, yeah, because... Mm, Again, I'm feeling regret. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to take one thing of my choice. I'll take that one. And maybe this... And... Boom, which one? Okay, so can I get one red? What does this option do? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember what this option does. Oh, what's the minus two thing? Is that minus two victory points to take random thing? To take a thing of your choice? Oh yes, and you can do it beforehand. Hmm. Um... And Keymaker, yeah, there is a wee bit of music from the game. I'll make it more... So this is the music from the game. So I've got the music on relatively low so that you can hear me. But gosh darn it. I am just going to skim through. Okay, oof. That feels very nice. Potion of Prismatic Joy. 
Um, Sands of Time. Oh, Sands of Time is pretty gosh darn good. Um, the one with the black. Yes, let's go with the one needing the black and the blue because I've already got to head start there. Keymaker Music says the music budget for that game is not very big. <laughs> So, one thing I would like to talk about regarding the Steam adaptation is that for this game, for some reason, there are no Steam achievements at all. Now, I don't know why that is. It feels a wee bit of a disappointment, frankly. I mean, I like it when there's a wee bit of a... You know, something to work towards. Okay. Hold on just a second. I think that... If I... What am I wanting? I'm wanting the blacks and the blues and one red. So let me pop in the black and the blue here just to remind myself where I am. And hello, Ben and Kelly Lee. I hope that you are generally well. I am just trying to remind myself what the minus two option is. Um, I think I should just try it and see what um, the professor does. Because, yeah, I don't, or actually, let's take these two, and then I think with the extra blue one I get a bunch of white, although, shoot, that wasn't what I needed. Um, hmm. And, yeah, automatically gets in there. What has the AI got in their thing? Oh my gosh, has the AI got 43 points? What? Wow. Clearly I need to do the tutorial again if I'm to remember how to play this game, I guess. Um... I, oh, I, I, okay, Prismatic Joy, I'm already building up to one of them, let's do another, oh, six potions, two yellows, which I already have, and um, let's go with this potion of wisdom, six, six, four, eight, that seems like a really cracking deal. Yeah, I think the computer seems to be embarrassing me. I think I am being beaten by quite a fair bit by the computer. I feel like I should really have started off with the tutorial because I honestly do not have any idea how to play. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now... Which one's that? Sands of Time, use something again. This one's Abyssal Draft, take up to four things, which I can get the maximum just now. So I'm clearly going to use that and steal everything from the opponent's pool. What does the opponent have? Um, it's got yellow, yellow, black. Ooh, that would be very nice for me. Um, let's actually do both of them. Let me steal everything and... Pop that into my little thing, and then let me take one of each, and boom, now I've got, that seems to be a nice turn, or do I want to, oof. Do I want to use something just to get, um, just to finish this potion? Just to make sure that I can... I tend to hoard Prismatic Joy, says Meeple Grande. 
prismatic droids. Um, oh yeah, the one where you can use any color. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I think. Um, let me just reduce my points by two, so that I manage to finish something this turn. That seems like it's worth it for the temple. Okay. I could roll with it and try and get the AI to score super high again. I'm very embarrassed. I'm also slightly insulted. <laughs> I'm not really. Um, what do I want? Sands of Time, five mana for four points. Prismatic Joy, four mana for three points. Four mana for five, that's nice, but Potion of Wisdom, you only get one ingredient of your choice, whereas the other ones seem a wee bit more useful. Um, six for seven, five for five. I do like Sands of Time. I think I'm going to get another Sands of Time. And let me take one of the prismatic joys because that's something I can start working on hmm when yeah I really should have done the so what this is telling me is that I really should have done the tutorial and also that AI is better than me, at least the easy one just now. Okay, so two whites. Um, oh, thank you very much. I like your confidence, Kelly. I assume it's Kelly. Um, hmm. So I want red, blue, white. I want quite a bit of white. I want everything except for black. Oof, do I want to take... If I take the blue, then the red smash together. Take the black, then the white smash together. Oh, and then I, if I take the red ahead of time... Then the blues would also smash together, which might be quite nice. So black, white, and then blue. Yeah, that seems potentially nice. Okay, let me get rid of that one. And chuck everything in. Boom. So all I need is a white and a red. I do have the sands of time. Do I potentially want to just take white and a red right now? I mean, I could. I'm wondering what does my opponent need? I kind of should probably, if I want to start really playing strategically, think about think about what they need, and they need a lot of blue. And so, yeah, that black being there is a bit dangerous. That's not great because they could get that blue too easily. I'm not going to stop them. I'm going. Let's do the um, two next to each other. I was thinking red and white. Although I could do red, white, and blue. But then I could do red, white, and blue, and then get rid of the black later on. What do you think? Hmm. Because I feel like this black is just too good for the opponent. I don't want them to have it. So I am going to... Firstly, take the red, white, blue. Score my thing. That's the prismatic joy. So at some point anything can be anything else. And 
I will get rid of just that black because that black is too good for my opponent. So I'm doing that purely out of spite for the AI. Six for seven, that's pretty good and that's something I already like. Um, and Abyssal Draft, six for eight. That seems pretty good, especially if I want to use the Prismatic Joy later on. I do agree with Meeple Grande, these animations are just lovely. What, what? Oh, that was a complete misclick. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 ma. Oh, um, disappointment. Ah, <sighs> oh, well. What can you do? Apparently, there is no undo in this game. Okay, so the AI has nothing in their pool and okay let's see okay so don't misclick this time it's all about the whites about the whites oh and reds and blacks hmm Whites, reds, and blacks. I need to. Mm, if I do that, that seems like a decent thing. It's giving me my whites that I need, and most of my reds. And. Yeah, actually, I can see strategically maybe I would have been better off focusing on. At least one of them to finish off. Okay, so I was massacred, figuratively speaking. 97 to 41. Honestly, the Steam adaptation feels very bare bones in a sense. I mean, I really appreciate also like in terms of user interface having to go more before you go into the tutorial seems a bit weird and um, like there's a whole bunch of achievements here but why is this not linked to Steam achievements that feels quite weird um, and yeah, again, the root one seems like, yeah, the gold standard. And hello, Flo. Lovely to see you. I hope you are generally well. I am playing a bit of Potion Explosion. I've just been massacred by the AI. And so I am going to try and now learn it. Oh my gosh, there's just a cat jumping around all over. So let's see what the, how the tutorial is. So, do, do, do. Large plot. Yep, it tells us how we need to get these colors into these potions and um, for kinds of ingredients. Great. Click on this ingredient. I need to click on that. Cool. Fair enough. And so it talks about when you smash them, then it goes here and drag two black things into here and two blue things. And I could have, of course, just clicked the speedy button. Can I just click that? No, it doesn't let me. I have to do it the old fashioned way. 
End your turn after filling your potions and your pool as much as you can. Yeah, this is very much another one of those. You'll be able to click on your avatar to... Ask me for a little help. If you do, you obtain one ingredient of your choice from the dispenser, but you lose two points. Oh, can you do it multiple times? I thought you could do it only once per game. Okay, that's useful to know. Um, I can see that. And... have all we need to come so boom like sin so choose two recipes do I get to choose okay so here's where the tutorial sends me off the rails a little bit so I actually get to um decide what I want um wow seven for ten that seems like a crazy good deal I am seven for nine, seven for ten, five for six, five for four. Yet, I guess it. I guess the number of points. If there's a better thing, then you get more points. Like potion of wisdom is probably the worst. Sands of time is probably, arguably the best. But it depends on having good things around and. The Abyssal one seems pretty gosh darn good. Um, for now I'm going with Potion of Time. And let's go with the 7 for 10. Since that seems like a really good net gain. Oh. You obtain them by completing at least 3 potions of the same kind. Or 5 different kinds of potions. Okay. So, okay, see, this is why playing the tutorial is useful, because I learned this stuff. Um, okay, so once all these tokens are claimed, then the game's ended. Okay. So three of the same, or one, two, three, four, five, three of the same, or five different. I need to remember that. Um, hmm. Doesn't give me any... I also liked the... The more I think about it, the more I realise how nice the root one really was. Because... I'm almost constantly comparing this to root, saying... Why... Like, with roots, it started on rails, and then yes, it... At a certain point said, now... Like, it didn't just throw you thinking, oh, am I going to get a tip? Am I not? It said... I think you know what to do now. Come on and see if you can beat the computer yourself. That felt very much more like a friendly face guiding me through that. And here it's just like someone's demonstrated it at the Asthma Day booth and then they've just wandered off and they've been distracted by someone else because they didn't even tell me, oh, thank you for playing, now carry on and you'll be able to beat the AI. They didn't say anything like that, so I feel slightly abandoned, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, let's see. Abyssal Draft, one of each colour at the bottom, and Potion of Wisdom. Okay, so I could actually complete this one this turn. Maybe I want to do that. In which case... Yeah, let's go for that, and don't think it makes any difference which of those. And Potion of Wisdom to get one of the blacks, and definitely not that one. There we go. 
Now, which one shall I get? Ooh, 749, that's nice. Prismatic Joy. Um, 546. 443, yeah, Sands of Time is pretty good. That makes sense. Um, should I get Sands of Time 3 or 4? That's what I'm thinking. Um, let's get this one, because this is... The other one wants black and white, so taking something that needs red and blue seems like a good idea. And thank you, Stream Elements. Yo, 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 everybody, it's stretching time. If you're having breakfast, if you want to dine, if you're in the seat, maybe get up, maybe turn around. Remember, stay healthy and move around. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I could um, take these. No, I don't need so many. I'm, I should be focusing on the whites. Oh. Um, hmm. What does my opponent need? My opponent here needs um, blue, red, and white. Um, maybe I take that blue and get the red with it, or maybe I at least take the black. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's very wasteful, but. If I were to take a. Black white, nothing good would come of that. So I'm just going to pass the turn. And. Yeah, give me some white and black, white and black. So I really needed, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just to Oh, what happens here? Why is this channel so empty? I didn't realize that that might happen. That's an interesting thing to observe. Again, like, I don't feel like I understand this game. Honestly, like, what, what I'm starting to realize is that Roots was really good. Yeah. I'm just going to say it, I was kind of spoilt by Root. Root was really good. <laughs> Maybe do do do. So, Joanne, I click on something and then the top and bottom come down together. And so if either side of the thing that I've clicked on are the same color, then I will get a bonus. So here, for example, I could, but you have special um, things, which is what makes the game kind of interesting. So I could remove two different colors. I could remove one of each color from the bottom. I could remove one ingredient from the choice. Um... And so, theoretically here, I could, for example, remove that white and blue that you see, and then if I got rid of the black, then the reds would all smash together and I would get all the reds. But, of course, I don't need the reds. What I need is the yellows for this potion, I mean, white star, whatever you call them, yellow star, and the yellow star for this potion. And I don't have that. 
That is the sad thing. Um, I might just take. So, you know what? I don't know what what was going on with that column not having so many things in it. I really do not understand. I will have to look up the rules to this game afterwards, cause yeah. game the column is empty when a lot of the marbles are out on the player board there aren't enough marbles to keep the columns full okay okay so because i did the potion then the okay i get it so the marbles go back that makes sense and maple gronzy says i've never won a game of this i always think i'm doing well but misty always beats me <laughs> Sands of time. Since I've already got three of those reds, I might as well go for it, eh? Okay, so now that I've realized that you get these by having more potions, I can actually understand that it's not just about um, having... Why did I obtain my first skill potion? Shouldn't um Okay, so I could lose two points by um so I'm really all about the white. I could um just get rid of this white, then two more whites smashed together, that gives me enough to fill in this one, that seems like a reasonable choice. Is there anything else better I can do? It does seem like a very tactical game, like each turn, I don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like a development of a real strategy or... To be fair, I've just started playing it, but it, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, let's go with this. Let's um, pop them in there. And now, do I get a white, blue, red? Because I could get a white, black, red. And then, theoretically, I could also get a blue from this one. Maybe I will. So that's a pretty good one. I don't want to let my opponents have that. And... Oh, I just realized I should have taken the black and blue from down there. And then I could have had all the colors. Because Abyssal Draft lets you take one of each color from the bottom. And if I'd lined it up slightly better, I could have had all four rather than just the three. Okay, so... Sands of Time. Um, oh, wait a minute. I just realized that... How... How do I know... Okay... Um, is it that the white dots are what I've already gotten? So, I want to get another magnetical attraction to... Yeah, that would make sense. Magnetical attraction will give me another one of those medallions, as will Elixir of Blind Love. So let's go with the Elixir of Blind Love. Yeah. When I first played this as the app, I found it quite weird and almost disappointing how each column is completely unrelated to the others. Do you know what I mean? Just aesthetically, I feel like um, I want the rows or diagonals to also matter. So, I've, I don't know, it just feels like it would have been nice if... 
But yeah, that was something that I personally had to get over, I guess. Um, hmm. Let's pop these in here. And I need two more blacks and three more reds. Um, I'm going to get way more than enough reds if I do that. Uh, ha, ho, 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 ho. I could definitely get the blues that I need and then the whites. And that's not something that I need. I'll just do this. And I might as well use my sands of time um, to... Yeah. What's my opponent wanting? White. Mm. White and maybe blue. Okay. So if I choose... Should I? Yeah, you know what? I might um, do the abyssal draft because and then maybe I'll do the abyssal draft again, given that I no wait a minute. I get all four, but the black and the blue would be used, sure. But the white and the red, only one of them would stay. Uh, maybe it's still worthwhile. Oh no, because... Um, can I undo it? Yes, because I want to actually get rid of that blue. That's too good for my opponent. Now I'm just going to go for a Abyssal Draft. I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm not going to worry too much about the opponent. It is just a tutorial anyway. And, ah, hello Slivers, who also says, I always felt like an uh, expansion should add in a horizontal mechanic, but it never did. Yeah, like, found it's a bit odd, but there you go. I think. Yeah, I'm just wanting something to finish up the end of the game. I will get this one because I oh no wait. Yeah, let's get the one that needs two red and four blue. Because at least that way I need two different things rather than all the same thing. Oh, wow. So I only just won. I only just beat the tutorial. See, like, I just feel like there should be a message. I just feel like there should be a, well done, you beat the tutorial. Now we'll go play offline. Like, there's no guidance to this game. Like, I don't know, the whole... No, like the user interface, it, it's fine, it's pretty, um, I, I'm just spoiled by Root, more and more, I'm, I'm just going to say it, like what I'm basically learning is if you want to get a nice um, digital implementation done, get Direwolf Digital to do it. They had the challenges, they had various challenges, they had proper Steam achievements rather than for some reason having achievements here and not in Steam, which is really weird. Um, they actually said, oh, this is a tutorial rather than putting it in more. I mean, why would you put tutorial in more rather than... Yeah, surely the tutorial should be something that you put online and when you're playing the tutorial, surely there should be like messages along the way. Sorry, but anyway, let me go 
Okay, let's choose potions. I, oh, I can choose potions. Huh. Oh, cool. What's this? Take two or more in adjacent ingredients of the same color. Huh. Okay. Discard five ingredients of one color from the same slide track. Okay, discard them. That's interesting. Okay, so that's something that I need to buy in the expansion. Um, take two or more adjacent ingredients. So, uh, yeah. Let's just go with the... Let's go with the basic things. Choose professors. Oh, interesting. Oh, all of this needs the fifth expansion. So this is really just me. That's really just trying to get me to buy it. That doesn't seem... Hmm. Like, given that new, I thought like that's something I had access to. Well, it's apparently not. Okay, let's do one more go at the easy AI and let's see if I can manage to beat it. Boom. Let's see. Okay. Starting off. I could get to black and three blue and two white. Yep, and if I do that, three blue and two white, all I would need is another black to make that. And maybe it is worth me. Is it worth me? taking negative two points to score that straight away. I don't know. Because um, if I were to take negative two points to get the black, then I would get to Potion of Wisdom, which I guess would enable to get me one. Oh, at least then I'd be able to use the blue more likely. I'm going to score minus two. And I will take a black from here. Okay. Um, oops. I am going to go with... Oh, these are very expensive potions. These are very expensive. Um, hmm. Let me go with the elixir of blind love. A steely, steely thing. Oof, my opponent just managed to get two potions made. I'm not happy about that. Okay, so I need free reds. That's what it's all about. If I click that, I'll get my four red. And. Oh, I could also get loads of blue. And I can't get my. Black well, and. Let's start off by getting gold at red. And. Abyssal draft. And. Ooh. Abyssal Draft combined with Sands of Time. I could finish this right now if I wanted. White, blue, red. And then get a white and a black. And I think I want to... Do that. And I need another white. Basically, that's all I need. OK, 
Okay, let me... It feels like when I drag, I would prefer it generally to drag more than just one. So, do I take another red or do I take a blue? Okay, I will pick the red semi-arbitrarily. Hmm. Potion of Prismatic Joy. You really want me to take that, don't you, computer? Okay, that does fit um, what I've got in my pool. I am willing to do that. 6-7, okay, let me take that Abyssal Draft. I will do that as well. Okay, computer. AI manages to finish one potion and then gives the game to me. Okay, it's two white, two black, and four black. Two white, two blue, four black. That's what I need. If I take that, I'll have one white, three blue, two black. Uh, hmm. And I could still so theoretically I could do prismatic joy and finish that straight away. Or what does my oh my opponent doesn't have anything. Let's go with the prismatic joy and just fill it up. Okay, so now I want more Sands of Time. Yes, I am a big fan of the Sands of Time. And Magnetical Attraction would mean that I get another one of those little medallions. Let's go with that. Um, and Blind Love. I've not been able to use my first Blind Love yet. So let's not go with that. Um, let's go with... Um, yeah, I'm doing a second Sands of Time. So I am at least beating the AI this time. I guess because I know the rules. <laughs> uh -huh. So I need two, three blue, two black, two white, and four red. It's all about the red this time. I'm really needing red stuff. Okay, maybe I get rid of this blue with my special pill, and then... Oh! I meant to do that thing, Imijigi. Does that work anymore, or will... No. Oh! Well, that was a rubbish turn. Misclick, misclick. And like... Yeah... I feel like... You probably want to have some degree of undo buttons in a... board game adaptation. Especially if it's you against the AI. I don't know, like... If you're going to get... I'm, I'm just a bit sad because I was totally going to get so much red. Let's see what the AI has. Can't steal anything from it. No point in doing the Abyssal Draft just yet. Let me skip the turn. So sad. Computer pulls ahead. So sad. The misclicks make me miss the analog version, says Flo. 
Yeah. Or they could have included uh, undo button. Okay, so... I can definitely get four red. I could also get three black. And maybe... Oh, what's if I go here? One blue, two white. That's not great. Could I make things nicer with an abyssal draw first? Oh, I've got two blue and a white in there. I could s steal them. Maybe I start off by stealing the two blue and the white. And they can only go one way, so all I need is the red and the black. Okay. Well, bye Joanne, and thank you very much again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Lots of love, and I hope you have a wonderful thing. I just realized I never asked them, um, how was your stream? I hope that was good. Um... Yeah, I should kind of, yeah, genuinely, I hope it was good, and I hope that, yeah, I don't know where you are saying or where you're music king, but I, in any case, I hope you have a wonderful thing. Oh, nice. Is it on your Instagram? Oh, shoot, I, and where are my manners? I totally forgot. Everyone who's here, just Joanne C. Bye, Joanne, and for everyone who's here, please do check out my friend Joanne in the link over there on Twitch. So Joanne does, um, yeah, art and music and has a beautiful voice. And, yeah, check out Joanne. Please go and follow them. Okay. What am I doing I can only get four red with the abyssal draft. What does this lets me redo something? So I could get actually two black. I could do both of them. Yeah, I can do both of them. Coolio. So now. Maybe this is a waste, I don't know. But... I'm going to use the Abyssal Draft one more time. And I don't really mind which one I get, so I'll leave it up to the AI. And so, yep, yeah, I've got my fifth thing. Now I want to have a third of the Abyssal Draft and a third of the Sands of Time. Sands of Time and um, Abyssal Draft. Boom! Wait a minute. What colour was that? Okay, that's that's okay. I can use the colours that are in my pool. And I'm still four points ahead of the robot. Come on, I can beat the robot this time. Even though the robot just pulled ahead of me. Fingers crossed I can beat the robot. Fingers crossed I can beat the robot. We will have to see. Oh no! The robot stole all my stuff. Damn, you robot. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, hmm. Really about the... Oh, I could do magnetical attraction. I have that. That seems quite nice. And... Red is really... Not around on this board for whatever reason. I guess if there's a set number of those marbles, I guess they must be in the top bit. Hmm. Gosh darn it. This is quite infuriating. 
infuriating. Um, hmm. I cannot see much of a good possibility. If I were to take out this, then I'd get one black, three white, and that would be it. Um, or else I could get... Um, one black, two white, and if I get rid of this black, then three blue. And then it's all about the red. Or I could get one black, two red, and two blue. That seems a little bit better. And then if I'm lucky, there might be another red coming up from the top. Let's see what happens. Yes! Another red came on. That was indeed very lucky. Oof, that's a big turn for the robot. No, the robot's pulling ahead. The robot's beating me again. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow. And again, where's... Hmm. Where's all the reds? Not that I need it, but that is... Feels a bit weird. Hmm. Two next to each other. I could... And that's two different colours, yep. Um, so I could get four whites, which I need a couple of. I could get loads of blacks. I could get... Um, I could... Um, and I can't set that up quite well enough get one black and yeah free white I don't think there's any great way to do this I am going to um, get rid of these two I know the blues I cannot use just now. But hopefully the blues I will be able to use next turn. Oh, another loss. Hmm. What I'm realizing is that maybe I'm just not very good at this game. Hmm. So yeah, I guess there's two things to ponder. What did I think of the game in general, based on the implementation, and what I think of the, the digital implementation? I mean, honestly, it feels fine. I don't feel any... It feels very pleasant. I think that it feels like there's a lot to analyze every turn. Like, I could definitely see myself um, really kind of just gazing at it and not speaking if I wasn't streaming for, like, ages and thinking, oh, how can I make this a wee bit better? How can I make this a wee bit better? Can I get a few more colors out of this? I do... Yeah, um, so I don't know what is this get potions of wisdom yeah this is weird like the gold pair of wisdom yeah all those potions of wisdom do have an effect right and clearly it's about getting some degree of potions of wisdom but why would you not have like a counter why would you not have a counter for all these things? That just feels...
quite weird and you draw points like real magnets um use the sands of time with at least one I mean, you kind of have to have at least one exhausted potion of any other kind. Feels a bit. Okay, get at least two skill tokens during the last turn of a match. So that's like definitely a tricky thing to do. Again, like the fact that these aren't Steam achievements seems kind of lazy the whole thing <sighs> okay so there you go you click on there and it takes you to um a website to buy the game <sighs> honestly i understand that there's a toyetic factor and seeing that game on the table with those marbles and seeing them clacking together it does that feels like something that i would be interested to play at a board game cafe at least to have that experience but when it comes down to just the rules i don't think that it did anything amazing i, I mean for sure with the potential minus two points like i I'm starting to realize that that minus two points is actually almost nothing because the massive difference in our points. And I am starting to realize, okay, maybe I should play differently in this way. Maybe I should be playing differently in this way. I am really getting, <laughs> I am getting into it. I honestly, I'm just thinking, surely I must be able to beat at least the easiest AI. Come on. And. white, black, blue, but if this is the thing, like this game, every turn it's a brand new puzzle, every turn I'm seeing this and I've got to again work out what am I doing, it's like red's my priority, I go here and okay I would get rid of that white I guess and then do that so I get more blues and chuck them all in and is it worth doing the prismatic joy just to I think it is kind of about keeping the tempo but okay so this bit is a bit to do with strategy like wait why is that not going in why is okay that was weird I had to drag it to the scroll for some reason Yeah, and now I guess I'm looking at the computer saying, okay, again, if I want to play really well, I should be looking and saying, okay, they need, um, it, it needs red, blue, black, white, so it needs all the things, so maybe I shouldn't let it have this because the white giving black giving blue, that's a really nice combo, so maybe I... Maybe I take this one just to mess up the combo. Yeah. Cause then I don't think it can combo so easily. Um hmm. Sliver says we love this game here at the house and the app, but really the clank of the marbles and the tactile feedback of pulling them adds a lot to the game for us. And yes, using the student's help for minus two points is the key to higher scores. I mean, I appreciate hearing your feedback. And again, this is, I would like we tooltips. I would like to be able to hover over and remind myself, like, okay, can I? No, I can't click and find, I can't click and find the rules. I want to remind myself. How many points is it to get those, you know, those um, bannery things? Was it four points? 
Was it four points? I genuinely can't remember. Do you know Slivers? Was it four points? But Sands of Time seems good. Um, I've got black in my thing, so maybe 649, that's pretty good. And Slivers does not. Okay, I'm going to double check just to be able to make some strategic choice because I really want to beat the AI just once. Just once. Okay. And then I'm probably going to delete this from my um, thing because... I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel intrinsically different. Like, that's... Like, we Again... Coming back to how much I love the Root board video game adaptation. Like with those challenges, that's such a cool thing. Of, like, okay, me. Um, potions and explosions um, rule book. I'm doing a quick how to play. Um, do, 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 do. Um, mm -mm. Using the ingredients, capturing the, refilling the dispenser, skill tokens. Um, each skill token is worth four points. Yep, it is worth four points. And no need to apologize. Absolutely no need to apologize. So, what I'm thinking is, if getting three sands of time is worth four, then I can't just be thinking, okay, four makes three and. Five makes four, and um, seven mana makes nine. And sure, some of them are more effective, but maybe I really want to go for the cheaper ones just to really go for the skill points. I mean, maybe that is the key. I'm not sure. I am genuinely not sure. Um, I am just going to go for... And again, sorry, let me badmouth the user interface once more. I should be able to look at what is behind here. What did I just pick? I, there was black in it. What else? I can't quite remember. Why am I not able to see? Why cannot I not minimize this to have a look? Sorry, but that is... I don't think that's good design. Um, I'm going to choose this one because... At least then I benefit from every thing. Oh wow. Computer seemed to just get a lot. Hmm. Okay, so what do I need? Four white, two blue, one red, one black. Okay, I could do white, two blue, three white. That seems reasonable. Um, no, I don't want red so much, so I'm not going to... Yeah, let me... Yeah, let me go with the white, blue, white thing. And hopefully I can finish them next turn. Is this a Steam app? Yes. This is on Steam, um, but I I don't rate this Steam app so highly, personally, but but it sounds like you enjoy the app, Slivers, and look, I, I feel slightly bad because, you know, I, you know, I don't, I definitely don't want to take away from anyone's fun, and I don't mean to say that this is, oh, you shouldn't be enjoying the game or anything of that sort. I certainly do not mean that. Um, let me do, 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 do. take Potion of Wisdom for a red. What do you think? Potion of Wisdom for a red. Definitely not that red. Maybe the red at the bottom. Maybe the red over here so that AI cannot get the black and red. Oh, 
Also, that says it's kind of wasting the sands of time because I'm using it on something that isn't really so powerful because but still at least now I've got the thing the app is like a 100% what it behaves like from the tabletop version and um, the other versions are more from scratch implementation there's also versions on tabletopia or board game arena or something and so tabletopia is the one where it's 3d and board game arena is the one where it's 2D and there's, yeah, on Board Game Arena's website. I'm actually playing that on Saturday with Panic. I've not played that, so I'll be interested to compare them. So, I need one more Sands of Time to get my three of a kind. So, given that I've got so many, well, these two are identical, that's not an interesting decision. I guess I will choose this one. Why not? Oh, Abyssal Draft. I do like that card. I think I will take it. Sorry about the background noise. Someone just started using some sort of outdoor equipment. And... Let's just make sure that that goes into there first. Okay, I really need double blue and single white, which I can very easily get, and also get triple red, but then the triple red would run away and just sit in my storage. I Then I need double blue and triple black. Can I do this? Get triple white, get rid of that red, nope that's not a good one, hmm, I could do blue, triple black, hmm, oh, maybe I could do Maybe it's still worth me doing this. And then... I think I'm going to wait on the Abyssal thing, because it would give me a bit of wastage just now. So, let's see. Um, I have one Sands of Time already. Um, Elixir of Blind's Love would give me my five different ones. That would be quite nice. Which one's the sixth? I can't. Oh, I've not got the Magnetical Attraction yet. I could take the Magnetical Attraction instead if I wanted. Maybe I should take the Potion of Wisdom, try and use some of that red. Hmm. Elixir of Blind Love, because I'm all about... Then that would be a way to use potential... Right? I do like Blind Love as well. I mean, Blind Love seems like a good solid um, special effect. Also, the thing is, Slivers, when you say the app is like 100% what it behaves like from the tabletop version, um, like, I really, really appreciate Root because they've got the challenges. When you've got the board game, you can easily house rule it if you want. You can say, okay, let's play with all the things. That's like a one-off thing. And, yeah, just to mess around with stuff. Um, one blue, three black. Mm -hmm. One white, three black. That could be interesting. Can I do something nicer? I really do not want red. Ooh.
free oh no hmm maybe my yeah exactly um like it just has a bunch of achievements and it doesn't even properly explain how you get those achievements <sighs> like i've not played a lot of board game apps honestly like i've only played two for longer than a single game but of the two that i've played like this is fine this is perfectly serviceable it's not terrible i would give this like a solid um five six maybe out of ten and like but just the roots i'd give it like eight nine but anyway I need the blues and the... Oh, I could... Could I do abyssal stuff? Um, Get myself some blacky, whitey blue. Could I do some... Blacky, whitey blue? Could I... Um, no, I don't think I can just yet. I am... Gonna. Hmm. I feel like if I want to keep my tempo, if I want to keep my lead, I've got to do at least one thing. I mean, my opponent's gearing up to have a couple of really nice um, potions there. So, oh, yeah. Even though I've got a slight lead just now, they could overtake me very easily. Ah. This is not. A great position for me to be in. Um, and Silver says, yep, it behaves like a digital version of the tabletop game, but not like a true digital. Apparently there was this wee little flower that had dropped into my hair. Not like a true digital potion explosion, if that makes any sense. Root does this extremely well. Root is its own game digitally. I need to brush my hair. Anyway, let's let me just pon. Also, fat. Honestly, the lack of undos and the potential for misclicks, especially on a touchpad, is making me slightly nervous while I'm playing this, and that's not super enjoyable. Um. Mm. So maybe if I got rid of that, I could do black and then free. I could do red, blue, free black, or I could go here. I could do um, free white. That doesn't give me anything much. I could do one white and free black. I just do not see any good options. Hmm. Yeah, if only I had. Um, and my opponent, like, is my opponent wanting the red? Okay, thankfully they don't want for red, but let's just go for that. And Oh, wow, amazing. I got some bonus stuff. Okay, so now, do I take a white just to fill that up? I think that seems like a reasonable choice. I will take that white, yes. And I will take the white from here. Or do I just do prismatic joy? Now nah, I'm going to remove a white. I guess it doesn't really make much difference.
oh, I could have done this student's help to lose minus two points. Roger than the sands of time, that's true. Yeah, good shout. Anyway, so I don't have anything now, so one, two, three, four, five. So what am I focusing on? How many? Okay, cool. So that's how I get rid of everything. Okay, so there's two things left. Who started the game? Who went first? Was it me? I seem to be winning. That's a good sign. I do apologize for the sound if you can hear it. Um, let me go for... Blind love? Magnetical attraction? I have no idea. I am going to go with... None of these needs red either. I guess I am going to have to use that um, prismatic joy. So let me go with... Um, hmm. I'm going to double check the... Or at least five different types of... Yep, I need to get two sets of three. I don't think I get any bonus for having my sixth type. If you manage to... Yep, it... Hmm. So I don't think I would get anything for a sixth one. But still... Yeah, I... I have no idea. I'm going to go with this one. And let's now go with magnetical attraction. Or blind love, I don't know. I just don't know. I just do not know. Okay, now the AI is going to pull ahead of me with its 16 points. But I am still ahead, but it has definitely caught up quite a bit. Okay, so I could get l so many whites. Oh my gosh, does the computer need whites? Okay, the computer only needs blacks and reds. So if I can somehow deny the computer black and red, so for example, if I could, um, that's a nice wee combo, that would give me five things, and that would give me five things if I use that. Um, oh, I should be checking, does the computer have anything in its storage? No, it does not. Hmm. Maybe... I'll do that. And then that allows me to take two things next to one another. But I could also do the prismatic joy. Fill up that. Um, and yeah, I could finish it with prismatic joy and something else. If I redo the prismatic joy, then I Oh, gosh darn it.
Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Yes, I totally messed up. I should have done this before Prismatic Joy. I thought that Prismatic Joy lasted until the end of the turn. Um, you can place all ingredients in your pool in any of your incomplete potions, regardless of their color. Yeah, I thought that was just until end of turn. And thank you for lurking. I do very much appreciate it, Slivers. And, yep. Oh, dear. I seem to have um, some sort of, yeah, tech. Oh, gosh darn it. That was a waste of that sands of time. Okay, so I'm going to have a blind one. So I take another um my so I take the magnetical attraction because there's two of them and I might get yet another I'm not going to get any bonus for another sands of time. Do I take something that's just a lot of points? Um I mean this is kind of like wow, seven for ten or seven for eleven. That is like wow, yeah. Or four for four, yeah. Oh gosh darn it, I just realized that I could have used the students minus two. Yeah, if I wanted to finish off. Let's ignore the fact that I didn't quite manage that. Hmm. Okay. So what do I want? I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell us what you want, what you really, really want. Well, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really, really wanna. Get some blues and some blacks. Mm. That's what it's all about for me. Blues and blacks. Blues and blacks. Nothing much that I can see. Nothing much to be done here. Um, hmm. Yeah. I am definitely not impressed. Can I scop her? If I take some blacks, then at least I'm stopping my opponent who wants, who's all about the blacks and the reds. Oh my gosh, my opponent could get um two party hats would get 24 points hmm do i yep i'm just going to take these blues I don't know. It seems like a reasonable thing to do. Okay, so I have my first magnetic attraction one. If I had one more blind, then that would be good, but I do not. I could get a second abyssal draft. And given that I have two blues, that seems like a reasonable choice. Or potion or... Yeah, I'm going with the Abyssal Draft because that uses my blues and my white. So that really feeds nicely from my extra bits to what I'm going to be playing next turn.
Mm. The computer is catching up. Not great. I need three blacks, one white. That is my ideal. Okay, so. Boom. Nice. Okay, so. Abyssal draft. Um, that's. Wisdom or the blind thing. Oh, does my opponents have anything I should steal? Nope. I think I'm all good. Oh, my opponent does have a couple of really high value potions, though. If it can get um, black and red. Oh, should I be get maybe get destroying that we red over there? Should I be thinking about? Yeah, maybe just, yeah, because that would be too easy for it. Okay, now, I was saying that Abyssal Draft and the Loved One and the Wisdom, all of those are good. Um, I'm not really happy with these. They don't use my colors. That is unfortunate. Um, let's use go for blind love, I guess. Try and finish it while I'm still ahead. Oh, it's empty. There you go. Oh wow, that was a nice combo. Okay, I am all about the black and the blue. I should have realized that maybe that was limiting myself a wee bit too much. Does my opponents have anything? Oh, nice. I can steal. And I basically use the black, so I need free blue to finish the game. I need free blue. Let's do magnetical attraction. And let's bring a red down just for the sake of it. It's not that. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much anyway, but I'm only going to be able to do one of them. I could do quite a bit, but I can't do the other. And um, so now I actually play my turn. And potentially, there are no ingredients to steal. I'm just unfortunately too blue away from getting another banner. So at the end, did I win? Yay! I managed to win, finally. Yeah. It's. Yeah, I, I'm i just tired of this game. I don't see myself... Um, 
I I could definitely imagine in real life the clacking of the marbles being a bit of a joy and like oh the marbles are clacking. Yeah, I I would definitely play it in real life and thank you, Flo. I appreciate that. Um, at least now I understand it. Because um, Panic said that they're really into Potion Explosion and they enjoy playing it on Board Game Arena. So hopefully I'll stand a chance against them on Saturday. But yeah, that is the game. And oh my gosh, it's been like 5.45. I normally say that I'm going to aim to stream an hour and like it's been almost two hours for my thing. But yeah, thank you very much. Um... I've got the whole what did we think of the game, but the truth is that I just can't help but talk about it during the game. And, um, but I do want to say, of course, um, thank you very much. Thank you, Flo. Thank you, Slivers. Thank you, everyone who's popped in. Thank you, Joanne, for raiding. That was really nice. Um, Meeple Grande and Game Cupboard for being here, and Keymaker Music for coming along, and Misty Mountain Girl 87 for being there. Thank you, everyone. And yeah, if you want to check me out, then you can do exclamation mark links and it will do links. And now, finally, is over to you. What are you up to? You can share, but only if you want to. Is there anything that you would like to share? Anything that you are excited to do? Anything that you want to tell other people about? Like, how is life with you, genuinely? Um, I am a wee bit tired because of yeah, personal situation. I might have a really early night tonight. Like, I might have my I think there was meant to be a library thing that was meant to go to. I might nip out and try to get some sorts of um, food very quickly before 6, which is in 13 minutes, and then go to Games and Libraries discourse. But, yeah, I, I hope you're all well. Let's go with that. If you want to check me out when I'm re when I'm streaming next, I am streaming every day at 10 a.m. UK time. Tomorrow I am doing Friendly Friday Forum, talking about good memories. Oh, tomorrow afternoon, around the same time, 4 p.m. UK time, which is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so let me actually, whoops, um, I was going to go on to Firefox and um, Twitter, see if Benita has actually replied because we are trying to work out what to play tomorrow um okay we are going to play battle sheep tomorrow so battle sheep is a game that i want i really enjoy benita apparently always wanted to learn battle sheep so tomorrow i am going to learn i am going to teach battle sheep to benita on board game arena so there we go and then Saturday we'll have a discourse about reviewers and then I'll play um, Potion Explosion with Panic and we'll, we'll be able to compare them. And, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Looking forward to a holiday three-day weekend. Good food, good friends, good games. That sounds just wonderful. And I'm going to... Before I head out, tie my hair up. But for now, lots of love. I am probably... I'm going to have a quick check. There should be some board game people. Let me know if there's anyone that you recommend. So I'm going on to Twitch. And it's the wee Raidy Raid, Raidy Raid. If you can... Help, then a raid will be made. And I'm ready, raid, ready, raid. We can raid if you're not afraid to raid. Um, Duchess is colouring. Let's... Oh, wow. 
Watch it, please. Is doing something. What's Rodney Smith doing? I did not know that. Um, um, Rodney Smith and Matthew are playing Sagrada. Um, conversely, there's Brothers Murph who are having a bit of a chat. And Duchess. Let's read Duchess because... Yeah, there's fewer folk there. That is... Although, Rod, I've never actually seen... Oh, and... Duchess is doing some colouring and then I can get Duchess to make... Use a red pencil. <laughs> so, for now, that's the end of the stream. Lots of love. Once more, thank you so, so much. Oops. Um, raid. Oh, hello, Cheap Sheep Games. I appreciate you popping in just as we're finishing off. And that is the end. And I'm going to mute that. And bye, 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 bye. This is a goodbye song. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you for watching along. Bye, 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 bye. This is the end of the show. Bye, bye. Bye bye, and now it's time to go. Do do do. Bye 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 bye. This is the goodbye song. Do do do. Bye 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 bye. Thank you for watching along. Bye 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 bye. This is the end of the show. Bye 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 bye. And now it's time to go. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Okay. Bye-bye.